Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we learn how to work with a rigorous distillation column in DWSIM. In this tutorial, we'll simulate a rigorous distillation column, we'll specify the tray efficiencies, and we'll also view the column profiles. For this simulation, we'll be using the following example. Benzene and toluene are the compounds given to us. The thermodynamic package is Raoult's law and the following process and distillation column parameters will be used. First, let us open the DWSIM application. Click on Create New for a new steady state simulation. Click Next to continue. From the given list of chemical compounds, let us search and select the compounds required for this simulation. Once benzene and toluene are selected, click on Next and select the property package as Raoult's Law. Click on Add and once the property package is added, go to Next. Finally, change the system of units to C5 and under the property, change the unit of pressure to ATM and delta P to ATM. Click on Finish. Now let us introduce a material stream. And change the object name of this stream to feed. Let the flash algorithm be default and under the stream conditions change the flash spec to pressure and vapor fraction and let the value of vapor phase mole fraction be zero. According to the question the pressure is 1 atm so we need not make any changes there. The molar flow is 100 kilomol per hour so let's make that change. Now go to the compound amounts tab and change the mole fraction of benzene to 0.4 and that of toluene to 0.6. Click on accept changes. Now let us introduce a distillation column. So under the columns tab, drag and drop the distillation column and let's introduce two outlet material streams and two energy streams. Change the name of the top material stream to distillate. And the bottom material stream to bottoms product. Now change the name of the energy stream near the distillate as C duty or condenser duty and the energy stream near the bottoms product as R duty or reboiler duty. Now let's select the distillation column and under the general tab let's enter the number of stages as 21. Select the solver method as Wang Henke bubble point and all the other options remain the same. Now go to the configuration tab and under stream connections, under the column feed port number 5, under the drop down list, click on feed. So select feed. And once that's done, go to the products tab and select the distillate stream as distillate, the bottom stream as bottom product. And once that's done, Go to the Duties tab and select Reboiler Duty as our duty and Condenser Duty as C Duty. Once that's done, go to the Stream Stage Associations tab and under Feed, select the stage location as Stage 9 as given to us in the question. You can now see that all the streams have been connected to the distillation column now go back to the specifications tab and under the condenser tab, select the condenser type as total and the condenser pressure remains as 1 atm. The condenser pressure drop is 0 and select the specification as reflux ratio and let's enter the value as 2.317. Similarly, go to the reboiler tab 
and change the reboiler pressure to 1.1 atm and the specification is product molar flow and the value is 60.204 kilo mole per hour so make sure that the unit is kilo mole per hour now go back to the general tab under configuration under stages you can find the various stages the pressures and the efficiencies so you find an icon which says estimate stage pressures by interpolation so click on this icon so once you click on this icon you can find that the various pressure values the interpolated pressure values have been updated and the efficiency is equivalent to 1 now click on the solve flow sheet or you can also press the f5 button You can see that the stream colors have changed from red to blue, which means that the simulation has been successfully run. So under the results tab, you can find the condenser duty is 1124 kilowatt and the reboiler duty value is also given to us and the internal loop iterations is 65. So you can click on the view temperature, pressure and composition profiles. And you, you can find the graphs for various uh, values such as temperatures, flows, component flows and component fractions. So click on the component fractions tab and you can find the mole fractions of benzene and toluene in both vapor and liquid phase calculated and plotted against the stages. So when you go to the table option, you can find the various values under the table. We have come to the end of the tutorial. In this tutorial, we simulated a rigorous distillation column we specify the tray efficiencies and we also view the column profiles. You can repeat the simulation using the following example with ethanol and water and the following process and distillation column parameters. Hope this video was useful for you. Thank you.